So in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you not only where power is, but how to get there by round three and turn on the power to the entire map and have tough enough by round four. So the strategy is really easy and you're only gonna need one thing and that is the fate card, scoped dollars. Everybody can have this fate card. It's a standard card. You do not have to get it out of a zombie crate. So make sure you let out with this scoped dollars fate card. Now on round one, it's really important that you do not pick up a melee weapon. Use your fist. The melee weapon only gets you 60 points, but if you're using your fist, you're getting 130 points per kill all for round one and make sure you build a barrier. The extra points can help out, although it might not be needed. Just do it to be safe. So now you're on round two, continue to use your fist. Just be a little careful because you have to hit them twice now and don't forget to build those barriers during round two. So now it's round three and your fate card should almost be filled up. Go upstairs, grab the M1 and shoot just a couple of zombies ought to do it and your fate meter will be filled all the way up. Pop that scope dollars and now you shoot the zombies in the head with the M1. You're gonna get 100 points for the headshot and you're gonna get an additional 300 points on top of that. So you're gonna be getting 400 points for every zombie you kill and that is going to stack up really fast. Don't forget to be building those barriers. But by the end of this round, just save one zombie. You're gonna have all the points you need. And then I just want you to follow me on this video here and take this path that I take. Now you can get there two different ways. I believe they both cost the same amount, but I don't know, this is just the way I go, so because this is the video you're watching, just go this way so you don't get lost, okay? Uh, there is a little jump, uh, I failed it. It's okay if you fail it, you just gotta try jumping again. It's kind of a pain in the butt, that jump. Uh, but keep going until you finally get to the mines, and once you get down in the mine, it's pretty easy from there. It's just a power switch in the room next to the spinning zombie. You throw that power switch, and not only is the power on for the entire park, but the door above you opens and you can go through that and you're right back in the spawn. So now you're in a familiar place, you know exactly where you're at. And what's really cool about this is once the power's on, you have now opened up more areas in the spawn room. So you can go upstairs, past the bar, take a left, and you're gonna be in the room with Tough Nuff, which of course is Juggernaut for this map. Now you don't have enough points quite yet, but go ahead and start round four and you'll find out very quickly that you'll have enough for Jug in a matter of a few kills. So that's how you get power turned on by round three and jug by round four. So if this video helped you out anyway, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the thumbs up. We'll have some more videos out later today and I'll see you on the next one.